<laughs> oh, since I've been recording, I got a message for you. You, Rockstar Games, you have to fix this immediately. Bad sport is broken. Not you guys in the comments. Let me know what you think, though. Let's get on with the video. Let's showcase why bad sport needs to be changed. Wife, I finally left it. Oh, <laughs> I have finally, finally gone out of bad sport, huh, Rockstar? Because it's for you to determine what the f I do, right? I am so done. Can I finally change my outfit? Finally, I am out of bad sport. Let's talk about it. For the first example, I'm gonna showcase this with Heisenberg and Akira. They both have NPC vehicles that they stole off the street, and now Heisenberg is going to upgrade his random NPC car into a personalized vehicle by putting a tracker and insurance onto it. So now that he put a personalized tracker onto it and an insurance, we're gonna showcase why this is bad. Example number uno. We have the G-Wagon, the actual NPC vehicle, which isn't personalized in any way, shape or form. Now, blowing this up in Rockstar's generosity doesn't give you bad sport points at all, even though the player is in the actual car. And then in Rockstar's Brilliance, we will showcase number 02, the actual personalized with a tracker and an insurance bill vehicle, which is an NPC car worth nothing. I paid $625 for this. This is what should happen. In my opinion, if the vehicle doesn't exceed the paywall limit, of well over a million dollars and in my opinion you shouldn't get bad sport points for this joint anything above people really grinded their guts out for so anything above a million dollar pay grade you should get bad sport points for destroying their personalized vehicle i will get back to the personalized vehicles later just stick around ah example number two let me show you i rock star in my shoe this is a weaponized jet the other jet on the right is not even a jet, it's a plane, it's not weaponized. Boom! You get bad sport points for destroying a weaponized vehicle. Let me get back to you about that. What do we get about the non-weaponized vehicle? Boom! We get bad sport points. It's not showcased because it's overlapping the other bad sport message. Now, here is where Rockstar went wrong. In my opinion, non-weaponized vehicles you should get bad sport points for. But if you destroy a weaponized vehicle, that makes no sense at all! How can someone like this who defends their literal cargo, get bad sport points for destroying a jet like this, per se, or any other weaponized vehicle, per se, and they would get bad sport points for it. How can you put this guy into bad sport while he is defending his grinding mission that takes 20 billion million years to complete, while the other guy doesn't even get bad sport for destroying his shipment at all? He even gets paid for it. Rockstar, fix this. When you have a weaponized vehicle, don't give bad sport when you destroy it. Simple as that. You need to be able to attack it and defend against it. No way, shape, or form you should get bad sport points for it. Let's go on to example number three. Oh yes, in Rockstar's vast majority of intellect. Oh, they are so, so much better at game design than any other company, right? Oh yes. In their vast, gracious intellect, when a griefer kills a sail, this or this, that or that or this or this one, it doesn't matter, he will not get any bad sport points for it. Not if the sail guy is in their friend list, or if it is a random. If you destroy a said sail, you do not get bad sport. But if the guy who is selling the sail destroys your weaponized vehicle, he, that guy gets bad sport. Rockstar, please fix this. Now I will showcase you why I think that if anyone uses the orbital cannon in any way, shape or form against an enemy player, or even a friendly player, that they should get bad sport points for it. Even if they are using NPC cars as showcased with all the four people standing right outside my facility. Now in Rockstar's vast majority mindset, they thought let us nerf the orbital cannon so they can only use it once. And now in my opinion, this is not enough. 
if you use the orbital cannon against any player, any way, shape, or form, as I said earlier, like 30 seconds ago, you should get bad sport points for it. Even if they're NPC cars, even if the guy is walking down the street towards the strip club for whatever reason, I think that you should get bad sport points for it. Because the orbital cannon is a literal Starlink satellite, not literally, placed in uh, outer space to get someone while you're paying over a million, half a million dollars for it. Come on! If you agree with me, if you disagree, let me know in the comments. I think you should get bad sport points for using this thing in general, even after the nerf. Example number five, one of the worst things ever introduced to GTA Online. I think you should get bad sport if you use an RC vehicle, an RC Imani Tech vehicle, anything remote controlled which you will not die for and you can kill anyone with. I think, in my opinion, you should get bad sport points for using it. Rest in peace, Nitrix Snot Lord. Aha, you finally made it to example number six. This is where Rockstar's brilliance literally exceeds the thinking capabilities of Albert Einstein and Stephen Hawking together. You have four hydras displayed in front of you right now. Choose which one is going to be an actual personalized vehicle. You will get bad sport points for it. I hope you chose. Let's, let's kill number three. Oh, let's see. Number three? I guess it was a Pegasus vehicle. You didn't get bad sport points for it. Number four? Ah, no. It is also not number four. Number two? Aha! Ta-da! Bad sport points. Did you somehow not guess it? I wonder why. Because Rockstar is fucking stupid. How can a Pegasus and a personalized vehicle have different bad sport points? You shouldn't get bad sport points for destroying weaponized vehicles. You should be literally be able to defend yourself against it. Come on, Rockstar! Example number seven. I think in free roam, and this is going to anger a lot of you because all of these people are supposedly trying to act like super score warriors. Let me showcase you what's wrong. First of all, they put the sticky bomb because that's what score warriors do. Second of all, they blow up because that's what score warriors do. Trying to evade you getting score up on them. I think, in my opinion, if you Evo or blow yourself up somehow within a five minute time period, at least 10 times, then you should get bad sport points for that. Because you are literally, you, you're not contributing anymore to PvP, because this is PvP right here you're trying to do. You're not contributing to PvP. What you're contributing to is literal nothingness. Nothing goes forward if you are escaping your own death because you are scared for score. In my opinion, just leave the session or get bad sport points. Let me know what you think down below. Now for example number 8, I want to bring up an interesting point. Both of these vehicles are quote unquote weaponized. On the left you have the new Virtue, on the right you have the Scramjet. The Scramjet is actually a weaponized vehicle, so in my opinion you shouldn't get bad sport points for destroying it because you should be able to defend yourself against it. Now here's my, here's my new issue. The Virtue has Imani Tech upgrades. Therefore, anything Imani Tech equaling able to dodge missiles or able to go RC car should also be categorized as a weaponized vehicle, aka you should not get bad sport points for it. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please get rid of the cops. What the f my guy, hello? Why did you have to WWE slam the other Hydra? If there is a topic you would like me to discuss further in depth like the bad sport issue that is actually only a thing on console because PC doesn't even have bad sport anymore, let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys enjoyed the video or want to watch the next video, here's a video you might want to watch. See you later.